Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have an assembly video for the Girl Gnome Dyes Scarecrow add-ons. So there we go. You're gonna want the Girl Gnome Dyes along with possibly the Gnome Dyes Extra Parts 1 and 2 depending on what how many you're making. So I went ahead and I cut out the little dress from the Girl Gnome Dyes out of the Echo Park Fall Fever 6-inch pad and, um, and I'm going to be putting together this adorable little uh, girl scarecrow so the hat was cut from recollections craft cardstock the hair out of american crafts yellow cardstock this band is from that six inch echo park fall fever pad um, along with this little leaf and so i have a piece of recollections black cardstock and then i'm going to add the dress with some nouveau glue so I'm just going to add that down. And you saw that I used Distress Ink in um, Vintage Photo to ink blend around the edge. Now I'm going to add the hat. You're going to want to do some Girl Gnome surgery. So you'll cut off the top of her hat. There we go. And then we will add the hat after we get the face on because we kind of, that's the order. Oh, I'm, I decide I'm going to put together the hat first for you, but you know, and I'll add that all together in one piece. So I use some black card stock just for the base layer. And now I'm adding the little leaf. That's from that fall fever section, six inch pad, along with the little sunflower. I'm gluing that down again with Nouveau glue. Now this was originally the little freebie that went along with the mini September or the mini October fall release. Um, but remember, um, this will be for sale in the store. Um, so you'll have to wait to get your hands on it. And if you already have it, then you can you know follow along with my assembly video. So after the dress, you add the little face that is cut out of p13 stamping pad skin tones and that paper pad is sold by jaded blossom check out their store hit notifications uh, for when it's back in stock if it's out now this hair or the the hay was cut out of american crafts yellow card stock and i ink blended around the edge with distress ink in vintage photo i'm just adding a little bit of nouveau glue using my reverse tweezers, working on my Stampin' Up! pad. And as per usual, um, I did all my die cutting today with my Anna Griffin Empress. Now, I did place a new order and got myself a whole bunch more dimensionals because I had run out, gasp, I know. So now I'm popping up the little nose. That's that P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. I'm going to pop up the shoes with the larger dimensionals using uh, Paper Tray Ink Dark Chocolate Cardstock. And then I'm going to pop up this little sunflower as well. And isn't she the sweetest? So that is also, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, be inspired by the team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. Um, keep your eye out. This will be stocked again soon. Bye, everybody.